I, I, what I say is that I work on a, on a, on a needs basis. I'll, you know, anything that comes up, I'll try and I'll try and deal with around them being dads, and that can range from you know very practical things around childcare and you know, or even just talking about anyone's just concerns if they're going to be a dad. You know, they might be a bit worried about what that is going to entail and things. Um, and right through to uh, you know just simply helping them you know sort their lives out so that you know they they're kind of in a more in a better position maybe to you know to be a to be a good dad really so it might be helping them get back into into work or something like that it might be it might be about getting them into housing because if they haven't got you know um, a secure ha house then can't raise a child without somewhere to live so it's depend on what the needs is I'll try and respond to it and and help them sort it out with uh, you know, dads under the age of 26 is, is quite often that um, they either not live with their baby's mum uh, either because um, they got pregnant and they weren't actually living together and they still haven't sorted something out or the relationship's broken down um, so they may be having you know there's a lot of friction between them and mum and maybe they're not able to see their child as a result of that so if they're a non-resident dad, that can have a whole sort of raft of problems associated with that. And I guess that's the most common, you know, sort of thing that I deal with is helping non-resident dads um, find a way of maintaining a good contact with their child you know, when they're not living with them and if they're not in a relationship with the baby's mum anymore. We do also have a group and I think that's an opportunity for dads to actually talk to each other and I think that really helps because a lot of guys do feel quite isolated um, and are not aware that there may be other people in similar situations. And there's that old saying about a problem shared is a, is a problem solved, you know. So I think, I think they do give each other a lot of support. Um, through the group activities, we can, we can do particular things like today, making a media product, you know, project. Um, we've, in our Thursday afternoon, we've done you know, a whole range of stuff. We've talked about how to how to have better relationships with your partner. We've talked about practical childcare. We've done things like a kind of um, child safety in the home kind of um, role play where we actually set up all kinds of hazards and you know and got them to sort of identify what the hazards were. So, and sometimes we've taken people out on trips, you know, dads and kids trips out occasionally. Um, so that is a, is a, is a different way um, of, of working with the dads, but um, I think my main message is that I think primarily young fathers need to establish a good working relationship with a, with the practitioner first. Once they've got that trusting relationship, then they'll they'll tell you more about what's going on for them, and you can and you can begin to um, work with them on on a whole load of issues once that relationship's been established.